Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor here with another short screencast about access. And this time we're going to add subtotals to this report. We're going to sum up the quantity as well as the subtotal for each order and also for each customer. The last time we looked at this report, it had a lot of background colors. So in the meantime, I've gone into design view and opened up the property sheet for each of these section bars and made sure that the back color is background one as well as the alternate color. Let's make that also white so that every record prints off with a white background, including every other record. That's the alternate back color. For whatever reason, the wizard likes to give us a different alternate back color, and I don't care for that on my report. Now, when we want to add subtotals to a report, we typically want to add them after a group of records. So if we look at our order ID field here, we've got a header that announces the order ID, and we need to go into the group sort and total pane and we open that up with this button and notice that we're currently grouping on the company name, grouping on the order ID and then sorting by product name. A group is simply a sort order plus the ability to open up a header and or footer on that field. So actually we're sorting on company name and then within company name we're sorting by order ID and then within order ID, we're sorting by product name. But to subtotal on order ID now, we want to open up a new area on the report, and we do that with the more button. We want to open up a footer section, a section that follows the order ID, where we can add the subtotal. So this is the key. I'm going to open up the footer section, and here it is right here, and that will be a spot where after each order ID, I can sum up the quantity and the subtotal. And the way I do that, by adding two new text boxes to this order ID footer section. Now I could go up here to my controls button and add the text box that way, or I could simply copy, I'm going to control C, copy these text boxes out of the detail section, go into the order ID footer section and paste them. And the reason why I wanted to copy and paste is it's just a little bit more productive, because instead of having the quantity and the subtotals, I'm going to have an expression. And it's going to look like this, equal sum, I'm going to use my sum function to sum up the quantity. And that text box isn't very wide, is it? But as soon as I press enter, I can look on my property sheet and see my entire expression up here in the control source property. I'm going to do the same here with the subtotal. I'm going to use my sum function to sum up the subtotal field. And so now I've got for each order ID, the sum of the quantity in that order and the sum of the subtotal in that order. Let's look and see how that looks in print preview. For quantity, 5 plus 12 plus 10 is 27. And if I add up these numbers, it's 440. Again, I'm getting this alternate shade that Access loves. So I'm going to go back to Design View and click on that Order ID footer, go to my Format tab, and take out that alternate color because I don't care for that. What I prefer is the old school way of showing a subtotal, and that is with a line control. I'm going to go up here to my controls section, find my line control, hold my shift key down so I get a perfectly horizontal line, and just put a little line above the subtotals and see what that looks like in print preview. And I like that. That shows clearly how many items as well as the subtotal for each order ID. Now if I wanted to have that same information for that customer, I could go back into design view and this time open up the company name footer section. We're sorting and grouping by company name. Grouping actually means sorting plus adding a header section and or a footer section. If I open up the footer section for the company name field, I've got a new section bar here, and I'm merely going to copy those controls, copy and paste them right down here into the company name footer section. And I'm also going to add a line control there. This time I'm gonna add a line control at the very bottom of that company name section clear across the page, and that's going to divide then each company. Let's see what that looks like in print preview. So here's my first company, here's all their orders, here's all their details, and then I've got a nice line for my next company. The only thing I don't like about this total for the company is that it's not aligned and it's hard to see what company it is because the company name is at the top. So let's go into design view and let's just make sure that all of these controls are aligned on their right edges. All the ones and tens align correctly. I'm also going to take that company name text box, control C, 
paste it down here in the company name footer section and change it into an expression. And I'm going to use a textual expression. It's going to look like this. All expressions in an access report or form start with an equal sign. So I'm going to say equal sign company name and then ampersand, which is the concatenation character in access, ampersand it to a space and the word totals. And that's going to look really good if I right align it in print preview so that I can see the totals for each customer. Now, there are many other formatting things that you might want to do. You might want to put each customer on their own page. I'm going to go back to design view, and you can do that with these section bar properties. On the company name, you might want to say, force a new page after the section prints. After the section prints, you want a new page, and that will make your report much longer, but it will also put one and only one customer per page. Another thing to make the report shorter that you might want to consider is moving these controls in the header sections down into the detail section and not printing these header sections by either closing them up or going down into your sort and total section here and saying without a header section. And I'll just take that section bar off. If the section's closed, it does the same thing. Now you might not initially like the way this looks because when a control is in a detail section, remember it prints once for every record, so it repeats that information throughout every line item on that particular order. But what you can do to solve that problem is go into design view and say for these two text boxes, and I've selected them together, hide duplicates, I can say yes. So if that same piece of information is printing a second time for the next record, it's going to hide it. And let's look at that in print preview. This is looking pretty good. One customer per page. I could even remove this line in this alternate background color if I so desire, and I so desire. So I'm going to go to my company name footer section and remove the background on the alternate records and also remove this line. So this is your task when you're building a report back and forth, back and forth between print preview and design view to modify that report and make it look like you want it to look. Some people use layout view a little bit and layout view is great for just resizing controls a little bit because you can see the data at the same time you resize the control but i don't use layout view very much i've got all the tools available to me in design view and then i switch to print preview to see how that data is actually going to look on a printed page with margins and page breaks now one last thing let's add a grand total to this entire report I'm going to close the group sort and total pane just to give myself a little bit more room. To add a grand total to a report, I need to open up the report footer section. And given I've got these controls already created, I'm going to just copy them. I'm going to select both of those controls, control C to copy, and then I'm going to paste them into the report footer section. So that's the important thing to realize is that these are the same expressions in different sections of my report the sum of the quantity in the order ID footer sections going to sum up every order ID. The sum of the quantity in the company name footer sections going to sum up the entire company. And the sum of the quantity in the report footer section is going to sum up the quantity for the entire report. So these section bars become super important when you're doing subtotaling because they determine which records are getting subtotaled. Let's look at this in print preview and look at our last page of our report, and there's my grand total numbers. Thank you.